What's up, guys? Uh, Jeremy here, Consciousness Awake. How's everyone doing? Sending you good vibes like always. Uh, driving home uh, from a job here. Uh, I wanted to do. I wanted to do this video earlier before work, um, but I uh, didn't have the opportunity. Uh, so I want to do it now. Uh, so um, uh, somebody in the community uh, has asked has asked me this question actually a couple different times. So I felt uh, compelled to uh, do a video response because it can help everyone else too. Uh, so their question was, uh, why is it that when I'm in the etheric plane uh, in an astral projection, remember there's different forms of astral projection. Uh, there's, there's different forms. I'll, I'll just kind of run through those real quick as I'm answering this question. Uh, their, their question was, why is it that when I'm in a uh, my etheric uh, etheric body and an etheric projection inside my house, why is it so difficult to manifest uh, a, an object, an item, a, a sword, a, a shield, uh, you know, uh, energy bolts, uh, energy balls, wh whatever you're whatever you're trying to manifest uh, or shape shift into. Um, and the, the reason why it's uh, harder to uh, manifest an object, an item, let's just go with sword, okay? Let's just, let's just use sword as an example. Uh, the reason why it's um, harder to make a sword uh, is because the etheric plane is more dense uh, than the astral planes or the astral bodies. The astral bodies are less dense uh, than the etheric body. You know, like uh, on with your uh, peripheral vision, left, right, or sometimes in, you spot it in, in, in certain rooms of your house, you see these, uh, sh uh, these shadow beings, these shadow entities. They're weak, you know, they're, they're not really a threat, uh, but there's a lot of them, like you'll see them, uh, you know, you'll see them here and there when you uh, are in an, uh, in an OBE, uh, or you'll see them with your physical eyes, uh, literally. And the reason why you can see them with your physical eyes is because they are more dense. Uh, they're etheric shadow entities, um, but you're able to see them with your physical eyes. Um, and uh, so, uh, so what I've noticed is that when I'm in the etheric plane and I'm uh, manifesting using my creative uh, ability uh, to create an item or object, it just takes longer. Uh, so just stick to it. Uh, you know, focus on whatever that is that you're trying to manifest because it's going to take uh, a few seconds up to 10, 20 seconds, uh, relatively speaking, uh, to actually materialize uh, whatever that the, the sword or the object is. So like, okay, so like in, uh, when you're astral projecting in, in a lucid dream, uh, when you're in your dream, uh, dream state, uh, and you're projecting consciousness into your dream body and you're lucid, you're bilocating, uh, in a, in a dream, uh, it's definitely very easy to, uh, uh, to, uh, manifest, let's say a sword. It doesn't take much, much time to do that. Uh, in the etheric plane, it just takes a little longer. Uh, and then in the astral planes, when you're in your astral bodies, uh, manifesting a sword is, is a lot faster. So lower astral planes, it doesn't take much time at all. Uh, but if you are in like the higher astral planes or more in the mental plane range, um, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, inst instant. Um, uh, the, your thoughts, emotions, uh, or you're manifesting a sword, whatever it is, um, it it happens exactly as you are uh, as you're thinking or manifesting of it. Uh, so in the lower astrals, it just takes a couple seconds, uh, so to speak. Uh, even though time is non-linear in the astral planes or in these other planes, uh, and uh, but in the etheric body, uh, since it's more dense. Uh, you can still manifest a sword or a shield or whatever you're trying to do. Uh, you just have to be a little patient. Just focus and just put enough energy and concentration into it, uh, and you will manifest whatever you're trying to do. Um, if it's a certain place, uh, if it's a, a sword, wh whatever it is. Uh, so, so there are differences 
in how uh, in, in the ability of, in how consciousness can uh, manifest objects and items uh, depending on uh, what uh, f- uh, type of astral projection you're having. Uh, so there's different types of astral projections. People have to realize this. Um, you know, we, uh, as I've said before in my other videos, uh, in, in, in uh, yeah, where, where, I mean, when you think about it, we, we are, our soul, our consciousness is, 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 is essentially astrally projecting into this human experience, into these human avatars, these human bodies. Um, so that is a form. Just because consciousness is centered on what seems like 75 years or 70 years or, or shorter or more, just because it seems like a long time, which really isn't, um, doesn't mean that you're not actually projecting into your human body right now as you're watching this video. Uh, you're just centered in the human experience. Um, <clears throat> so you, that's one. Uh, becoming lucid in your dream state and and uh, consciousness shifting into a lucid uh, dream. Um, that is two. Uh, astral projecting into your etheric body, into the etheric plane. Uh, that is three. Uh, astral projecting into the lower astral planes, uh, under below the akashic plane. That's four. Uh, astral projecting experience, astro, uh, uh, OBE experience, utilizing or going to the akashic plane, akashic records library. Uh, that's five. Uh, and then uh, six would be uh, projecting to higher astral uh, uh, planes, more in the mental planes. That's six. Uh, and that's that's as far as I've gone. You know, I haven't gone past, um, you know, th- that those different types of astral projections. Uh, you know, people talk about spiritual planes and other planes above the, the mental planes of the astral planes. You know, I don't know. Uh, I, I know I'm pretty sure it exists, uh, but I have no recollection or memory or anything like that of being in those areas. So maybe I have. Uh, maybe I just didn't recognize it. Or maybe I, uh, I don't know. It's hard to say, but but I could honestly say, no, I haven't um, seen anything past the mental planes of the higher astral plane. So I so, uh, just wanted to give you guys some of that information. And uh, for the person who was... Uh, asking about you know manifesting items and objects and whatnot, uh, maybe it was it was harder to do because you were just probably in your etheric body in an etheric uh, uh, form of an astral projection, and you just needed to give it a little more time uh, to, uh, to to do that. All right, guys, peace. Talk to you later.